All right, so what you're looking at, believe it or not, is a real human skeleton. And I just want you to take a quick look at this thing because as you do, it's going to look quite a bit different than what you're used to in your health class, right? That's because bones have individual character to them. And what I want to show you is something called spongy bone. And if you look really closely, you can see how on the inside of the bone, it looks like a sponge. And that's where you're gonna find a lot of red bone marrow. But bone has character to it. It's not just this stale type of rock sitting inside of your body. It is alive and very, very cool. Let's talk about how your skin varies in thickness depending on where you're looking. This is skin off the back. This is skin around your calves. And believe it or not, this is skin from an eyelid. Let's talk about a tissue that is fundamental to biology and it's called connective tissue. You see this stuff that looks almost like cobwebs? These are collagen proteins that help keep every single one of your muscle cells, and in fact, everything inside of your body connected. Okay, so I've seen this trend going around here on TikTok where people are getting their palm to completely flip over without rotating it here at, towards the elbow joint. The reason is because the entire thing is happening here at the shoulder and I can prove it to you. All right, so if you go ahead and feel your shoulder as you flex your elbow and then turn it this way, we call this action medial or internal rotation. You can literally feel, go ahead and do this, you can feel your humerus rotating at the shoulder. It doesn't require the elbow joint at all. So then you come back like this and flex your elbow again. And again, if you're feeling for your shoulder and you rotate it, you're getting more of that medial or internal rotation. So the reason why your palm is able to flip is because it didn't happen at all at any of the joints down here. Instead, it happened entirely at your shoulder. Just underneath the skin on the dorsal surface or the top of your hand, you're going to see a variety of tendons coming from muscles in your forearm. But if you look closely here, you're also going to see muscle tissue. And this muscle tissue belongs to the muscle or the dorsal interossei muscles. And these muscles are responsible for spreading your digits apart. These are your calf muscles, and this double-headed muscle right here is called the gastrocnemius. And then on the other side, we have another one called the soleus. Both of these muscles, though, are going to blend into and turn into this gigantic and massive tendon here, which we call the Achilles tendon.